Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 14. Thoughts? This episode is called The Man Behind the Shield. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Another episode I love. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we open on a very cool fight scene, and it turns out to be framework by way of, you know, they're basically Fitzsimmons are demonstrating to the rest of the the main cast that are still on the yeah that they're yeah and I like considered a silent protest nicely done and yeah so they go after they you know the the suit tracking but the suit has been taken off and the conspiracy wall has been left sending a very clear message and yeah, Anton is going to just rip the the thing off Holden without thinking for two seconds. Oh, maybe this is you know should I maybe try to figure out if there's some reason? Because Holden doesn't usually ignore people that he's scared of. You know he tends to to you know hop to at the moment that some you know. So he's clearly not like just ignoring, but. You know, Anton is one of those people. His his ego is very frail. He can't handle if someone is ignoring him. So Ada, you know, stops him from doing it, and they, yeah, she points out the what could happen if he does it, and then he threatens her because, again, frail ego. You know, like in that situation, you maybe go, you know what? Fair enough. I'm glad you stopped me, because he still needs him. And, yeah, he points out, you know, and, and, yeah, at first, you know, she's like, you know, Radcliffe has empowered me to speak on his behalf, and, yeah, he won't hear it. And then Radcliffe yells at Ada because he's not really good at accepting when things, you know, and the moment that he realizes, oh, it's Anna, okay, never mind, I can't yell at him, I can't get away with that. You know, he, he yells at people who have less power than him, but not ones who have more. But, but yeah, the, the... Anton points out to Radcliffe, you've been spending... You know, he, he says too much time. We, we don't know exactly how much. You know, it's not like Anton's priorities are 100%. You know, but... Yeah, 100%, I could imagine that. You know, Radcliffe has, you know, he's he's back with with Agnes, or rather, you know, he can interact with her, you know, mind through the, the framework now. This is what he's been working for years to accomplish. You know, it's not, it's not the ultimate goal, but, you know, he, he says, yeah, I, I know we're not all the way there yet, but, you know, stuff's, like, there's machines doing this stuff for us, you know, and so, so, yeah, feels very in character, and it's, it's not something we've seen before, so it's clear that Holden, you know, maybe he's becoming a little, uh, what's the word, lax, you know, he's, he feels he's so close that it can't possibly fail. And, yeah, then we start getting flashbacks, which it cuts back and forth between, for the rest of the episode, between Coulson and May on this mission. And, yeah, very, very cool. To, you know, I, I love, I'm such a mark for when they cut, because the, you know, we, let's see. I think the first one, they're, they're like, showing the, the sign outside, you know, and it zooms in and like fades into the flashback. And then later, let's see, I think it's that they're like opening the door and it leads directly into, you know, and, and yeah, in cuts to the flashback and they're opening the door and they do, I think they do that twice. It's just very, very nicely done. The playful banter, like there's always been some of that, but May we're used to seeing her so much more restrained and like buttoned up and and you know just yeah very very 
like and and here she's she's kind of playful she's you know toying and and it's just it's so fun to see and and Coulson isn't the super spy yet he's like he screws up some of the Russian he's speaking, and you know apparently he's got a bunch of tells. What it what it may say you've got nine different tells, something like that, you know. So yeah, very very cool. And and yeah, part of it is you know this is before Bahrain. This is before because that was what broke me. You know this is yeah, it's great to see more of we. This is not the first time we've seen some of what she was like before that, but yeah. And let me have the yeah. Mace manages to to free himself, and there's a cool fight. And yeah, 100%. Anton does feel like the kind of person who you know, yeah, he wants him to prove. You know, he he feels so confident that he is the superior that he doesn't worry. And yeah, Mac makes some really excellent points. <laughs> I, I quite appreciate the the brain scan reference. I gotta watch that movie. I've wanted to watch that movie for like twenty years. I just I can't seem to find at, at least not a really great deal. And I think there were there were years where I couldn't even find a place that sold a copy of the movie. Like yeah, um, yeah, and I I love you know. So so yeah, Mac goes pretty hard again, you know, on on Fitz, and Fitz you know makes a really good point. Electricity is used to execute people; we still use it to power hospitals. And yeah, you know, the, the, you're starting to sound like don't say his name. I was gonna say Frankenstein, and yeah, the, the flashback, you know. You're you, yeah. That's when she said you've got like nine different tells. Maybe you should wear sunglasses. So that's where that came from. Very nicely done. And apparently they did an undercover mission where they were on camera, and he spent two minutes t to unhook her bra, and he says he was being a gentleman, and she was like, "You were, you know, it, it was ridiculous that you took so long." And. Yeah, um, really appreciate Anton giving some some backstory about his father, and yeah, the you know very very credible does sound like that the yeah that could be the case, and and you know he says there is something lower than scum, that which aspires to be scum, and. Yeah, I quite like Ada. Yeah, Ada is improving. She's you know now she uses a metaphor. If you're done playing with your food, you know, and then she says, "I'm not judging anyone. I'm just observing human behavior, and you are different from anyone else I've observed." But then at the end of the episode, she does seem to you know she's been holding a grudge against Anton, which one can understand. I don't think Anton has many friends. There's like, there's people who are afraid of him, and then there's people who just hate his guts. You know, but, yeah, he's he's said some really messed up things to and about her. And, yeah, and he has the line, you know, even filth has purpose, which she repeats back to him at the end. Very cool. And, and yeah, um, you know, Anton tells Colson, you had these men killed, and, you know, it was May who who killed them. Love the line, I'm gonna go stall Stalin. And, yeah, very cool that the framework, <laughs> which, I mean, hypothetically, yeah, I, I, I suppose it's possible, at least with the Darkhold, you know, it's, it's, on all these different devices, but never on any of, never on any one of them, long enough that they can trace it back to the source, and that's how they've been able to recreate the entire world in the framework. And let's 
yeah, I, I quite like um, the the um, that they were referring to Anton as a Bond villain. You know, he has a submarine, like all good Bond villains. Maybe we'll fight fight. What was it? Just sharks with lasers or something like that, which. Yeah, wasn't wasn't expecting a. Um, was there a Bond thing? I feel like that's, or or did was that just made up? Because the, there's a, it's definitely an Austin Powers thing. I forget if it was actually also a Bond thing. And let's see, yeah, uh, Mace. Yeah. <laughs> I, I quite like, yeah, for a second there, it does look like Anton is going to let him go. But he says, you know, my, my men, they're not so forgiving. And, yeah, you know, hardened Russian men beating someone, you know, that is something that happened a lot in the Soviet Union and sadly does still happen, for example, in prison. And, yeah, uh, Anton explains, you know, this stuff to, to Coulson, and he's like, you know, for you, the day Phil Coulson graced your village with a visit was the most important day in your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Cool origin story, bro. And let's see, then we have the, um, um, yeah, um, very cool when, when Daisy fights Anton and I gotta say, I, I thought that those knives would like be dipped in. Hmm, I guess it's possible, because, like, people were swapped out. I guess it's possible there was, like, toxin on one of the knives. And, yeah, Mac and Phil rescue Mace. And, yeah, you know, apparently Ada escapes on the submarine. Yeah, and by the end of the episode, we see that's not quite because she was still or was that a flashback I guess it's possible yeah and yeah they're dealing with wonky comms and by the end that is explained you know the the yeah there was some time there and um Simmons points out you know something feels off about the the timeline and they they see that an LMD was detected by the the you know and and the yeah thankfully Simmons now gets all these security reports so she can check and it says you know all four of them like holy crap so yeah <laughs> we're we're very much back in this kind of the thing 1982 territory and yeah, things are really heating up. I, yeah, I'm really glad that I'm watching an episode per day and not per week. This would have been just incredibly difficult to wait an entire week for. And yeah, uh, Ada says, you know, commence next phase. Even filth has a purpose. And yours isn't done yet. And then we get the, the flashback and we see literally the only reason that Coulson and May never did get together was that right before they started, she fell in love with, with Andrew. You know, very, very, yeah, no wonder that there is this, this tension. Because obviously Coulson doesn't want to be the person to... to ruin this this happy relationship and clearly May and Andrew were happy for a long time I suppose they worked really well together even after Bahrain happy as perhaps she wasn't expected she wasn't happy after Bahrain but the the 
and and yeah, you know, by the end, yeah, you know, now they they do have a chance. So let's see, and uh, yeah, um, IMDb trivia for this episode points out that the the shrink must be Andrew and. Yeah, I was not the only person who thought that that was reminiscent of Street Fighter, where, yeah, which, yeah, Ming-Na Wen appears in both of these. And, let's see. Right, I also like that, yeah, Colson also calls Anton a, and just another red shirt. <laughs> All about the pop culture references. He's, he's usually making Star Wars, but this was a Star Trek reference, but, yeah, you know, I... I guess he could have called him a stormtrooper, that doesn't really work, so, yeah, makes sense to go for that. Yes, I will definitely be doing an episode of the show tomorrow, so catch you then. I got this handled. I don't need you throwing off my game. You have game. I have what some people refer to in certain parts of the world as game. It's cute that you think that. <laughs>